Hey there, this is a quick demo of how to use Mintable. Mintable is a free tool and resource for you to manage any of your 721 digital items. So your ERC721 tokens that you have from games like CryptoKitties, um, which is your cat, you know, or the cards for Gods Unchained, those are all ERC721 tokens that you can manage on Mintable for free. It also lets you create items. So in this demo, we're going to go through the three things you can do. You can mint, browse, and manage. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and mint. So in order to mint a token, you can go to the create page and click guide me. Now, what we're going to create is a Pokemon card. And let's go ahead and type in Pokemon cards. And the symbol for the token will be PKE. Let's put a picture in here. We don't really have anything, so we'll just use this picture of McAfee. Uh, let's keep moving on. Maybe we want to add some metadata. So that's the rarity of the card. It's super rare for ones, the inventory, and maybe here's an API. So now you've noticed that we've added here is this link that currently is an image. Uh, on our Mintable, it displays the image but it can be anything you want. It could be an IPFS link, which is a way to store files decentrally, and then you can put them on here and people can view that. It could be an API link that stores a JSON object, kind of similar to what this ha has right here, where Axie Infinity returns a JSON object. It could be anything you want. So we're gonna go ahead and submit this. Now, one thing you may notice is that you didn't get this page if you're doing this or following along, is because you need to have MetaMask. MetaMask is a wallet that lets you connect to the Ethereum blockchain. And without MetaMask, you won't be able to send or post any transactions to the blockchain, which is what we're doing right now. We're creating a smart contract that you're gonna own. So you need to have MetaMask installed. Now you may have gotten a pop-up that says you don't have MetaMask. And if that's the case, just go ahead and download MetaMask and set up a wallet send some ether to it and you're good to go this works on mobile wallets too so if you have a, a mobile wallet like trust wallet uh, coinbase wallet or status they all work with mintable so we're going to go ahead and submit that and let's submit the transaction here oh it's a dollar 87 now that's because this gas price now we can lower this gas price down to 31 cents you know if it's at one gui the problem here is it's going to take a while so we're going to just go ahead and do it at uh you know 10 gui whatever that is in terms of the current network congestion and maybe we want to get an email so let's just go ahead and boom put in our email here and we just gotta wait so we have sent the transaction to the blockchain and now we just have to wait for it to be confirmed on the blockchain now this depends completely on the blockchain and the current congestion of the network this is not dependent upon mintable so uh, you can just leave this page open if you close this page you won't be able to see a receipt of your information it's still been submitted so it still is going to go to the blockchain and create it and you're just going to have to use etherscan in order to see your transaction after it loads though we will get a right here as it just loaded we get a receipt page we can get an email so i've just sent myself an email of this we have the ABI code if you want the ABI code of the token. We have the address that goes to Etherscan. We have the hash and we have our owner address, the name and, and you know the information that we've submitted here. So, and that's really everything you need. And we've also sent it all to our email, so we have it. Maybe we wanna go ahead and manage this token. So we've just created this. Let's go ahead and manage it. Now I wanna send it to a friend, right? So we've just created this Pokemon card. Here's all that metadata that we've just made, right? Uh, let's see here. Transfer it. Do we want to transfer it over to a friend? We could transfer it and we can just simply put in the address right here. So let's say you know, we want to transfer it to itself. So we will just copy the address and then paste the address in here like that. Right now that we pasted that address in, we uh, could transfer this and submit it the same way as we just created that contract. But we, I don't want to do that. Uh, we can browse the tokens. Maybe we have a lot of Pokemon cards. And so we actually have two here. Interesting. Uh, see how that happened. There might be a little glitch. This is still the alpha. So there are going to be still a little slight problems. We can interact with a smart contract and see all the you know, functions and information. Maybe we want to see the version, the version of this. So it is Mintable 1.0. That's the version number. So let's go ahead and 
Uh, move over to hmm, sell it. Oh, we can't. The exchange is still coming soon. But then that's basically what you can do here. If you want to mint a new token, maybe you want to make another Pokemon card like a Pikachu, you can do that right here as well. This will still require that you are the owner of the contract and that you have your MetaMask. Uh, lastly, so we've gone through Create Manage. Now if we want to browse, we can browse all the 721s that have been put out on the network. Uh, so anytime you search anything, it also gets added. And we can see to manage it here. We can also search by our contracts. So let's see for the new one that we just added. Hmm, let's refresh the page. You have to refresh the page so we get the latest. And we can see Pokemon cards, right? Well, maybe I want to show only my items. So these, these are my items, right? Um, so we'll get rid of that. Maybe we want to search by, I don't know, anything. We can, we can search the page here and look at it. Oh, this coin's still exclusive, huh? Oh, I'll go ahead and share this with a friend or, or maybe I'll tweet about it, right? So there's a lot of things you can do here. But that's about it. That's Mintable. It's supposed to be a free tool to help you out. Later, we have an exchange coming where you'll be able to sell all sorts of assets and a profile page where you can collect and manage all your assets as well. It's kind of like a, uh, you know, interface for your wallet. And that's it. So, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy Mintable and leave some good feedback and comments on where you want to see us moving. Stay tuned and sign up for our newsletter. We have a lot of information we post out. And don't forget to join our Discord. Goodbye.